Hey there, thanks for stopping by and spending a little bit of your time with me. I am so happy to have you here. First things first, if you guys have not subscribed already, hopefully you'll consider that. Hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, so you're notified for all the future videos that I have coming for you guys. You won't want to miss it. And secondly, shout out to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Super exciting. I'm super thankful for them. They are such a great company and I personally love all of their products. So if you guys are considering buying any of the Cricut products, um, Cricut machines, yes, I say yes, go for it. You won't be disappointed. These are the little bathroom decor pieces I will be showing you guys how to make in this video. So hopefully that is something you are interested in and if so, stick around because we are about to jump right into it. I will be using my Cricut Joy for these projects today. So that is definitely one of my personal favorites right now. It is so sleek, compact, portable, and just so easy to use and it gets the job done without taking over too much space on your desk or your work area. All right, time to get started. So I'm just gonna be opening a new project on my Cricut Design Space. And then I'm gonna be going to Images and opening up that little image tab and it opens up like a search engine for you. You can type whatever you're looking for. And for me, I was looking for some like bathroom signs, bathroom decor. So I typed in bathroom and I'm just kind of scrolling through the pictures, just looking for something that kind of pops out to me. And this little bathroom rule sign, really, I loved it. So I, um, you just click insert image. It's gonna insert it into your project. I'm going to more just because I need to resize this. You're always gonna want to resize your image to the project that you're gonna be working on. You obviously don't wanna be, want it to be too small or you know too big so it doesn't fit on your project. So just take a tape measure or whatever ruler, size your project and that way you can size your image correctly. Once I had this little image size to the size of my project, I'm gonna go back into the images and just choose two more of the images that I really liked. I'm telling you guys, Cricut Design Space has so many images to choose from, so definitely, you know, take a couple of minutes to browse through all of that and, and just to see, you know, all of the really cool images and things there are to choose from. So I found this one, it says, don't forget to flush and it has a cute like little you know, wreath around it, loved it, super, super cute, gonna definitely fit into the style that I have for my bathroom. And then I did notice that it has kind of like a pair or like something similar, it has the same wreath around it, but it says, put the seat down. So I thought that was super cute since this is gonna be going into my kids' bathroom and my son, he's not the greatest at, you know, forgetting, you know, remembering to put the seat down or flushing. So I was like, this is perfect for him. <laughs> Anyways, then I'm going to go and resize these ones as well because, again, I definitely want them to fit onto my project but without looking too small or being too big for them. So I'm just resizing them to the size of my project. And once I was done resizing them, I'm just going to go up to make it and click that little button. And then it's just going to walk me through all of the steps that I need to take in order to print these images out. So here you can see that it kind of lines up all of the images for me. It puts them in order to best, you know, maximize space for um, the sheet that it's going to be cutting on. But you can totally move them around yourself if it's not maximizing all of the vinyl. If there's like open spaces anywhere, you can totally move them yourself. But if if you're happy with it, you're gonna go ahead and just click um, continue and it's gonna ask you what kind of material you're gonna be working on. I'm going to be using the Smart Vinyl, which is really cool. It's one of my favorite features of the Cricut Joy. They have these smart tools that you don't need to um, use a mat to cut on. It just cuts on the vinyl, the paper itself, not the paper, but the material itself. So it's gonna ask you to load that material into the Cricut Joy here it says it's loading material. It just wanna make sure, sorry, it just wants to make sure that you have enough material, that it's not too short, and that it's going to fit for your cut. Once it knows that your material is big enough, it's gonna let you click go, then it's gonna start preparing, and then it's just gonna start making its cuts. It goes from zero to 100%, just letting you know like the progress that it's made as it's cutting, and you know, it's gonna go all the way until it reaches 100%. Once it has reached 100%, it's gonna ask you to unload it, and this just unrolls it from the machine so you can pull it out nice and easy without ruining um, your machine. You're gonna click finish, and done. See how quick and easy and simple that was? 
telling you guys I love this machine so just simple and easy to use so now that we have our cuts we're just going to take it over to our mat I'm in my little workspace now and I'm just going to start by removing the background from my little images because we're just trying to get to the you know the images that we need so we can transfer it onto our projects once I have the backgrounds removed from those images, I'm just going to take my weeding tool again and I'm weeding out the middle of the images this time. And I'm going to be weeding out the middle of like the letters, you know, the middle of the D and the O and just wherever we don't need that vinyl. You just want to remove it because whatever is left, it is going to transfer to your project and obviously you don't want that to happen. <laughs> But honestly, it's not a super big deal because if you do transfer it to your project on accident, you can still take your weeding tool and just remove all the unnecessary or unwanted things on there. So after that, I am just going to be taking my transfer tape and I'm cutting it to size to fit over all three of those images. And I'm just going to apply that on there in one big sheet. And then I'm taking my Cricut scraper tool and I'm just going to, you know, scrape everything with some good force on there. I just want to make sure that the vinyl has a chance to adhere to the transfer tape so it makes it easier to transfer to the projects. And then I'm just going to cut each of those three images away from one another so that way I am ready to start making my bathroom decor. So for the first project, I'm going to be using this little decorative box that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna start by removing the paper from the top and using a little bit of sandpaper just to sand it down so it's nice and smooth so I can start working on that top surface right there. After that, I'm gonna take my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm giving this a pretty good coat of paint but focusing more of the paint on the middle and kind of doing like a dry brush type of thing on the outer edge of the box. This was just personal preference I wanted to leave some of that like natural color showing through and then for the sides I'm just kind of doing a very wishy-washy you know whitewashed paint job on the sides as well and here you can see I have most of that paint focused on the middle section and you kind of have a little bit of that gray wood showing through on the side so I definitely wanted to give the box a little bit of time to dry so that way when I transfer the image the transfer tape will not pull off any of the paint so just make sure you let your project dry really good first. So then I'm just using my Cricut scraping tool just to scrape everything down once more so that way it you know the whole image comes off with the transfer tape and then I'm just applying that image directly into the middle of my box once it is good and I'm happy with the placements not like crooked or anything like that using my scraping tool again just to adhere the vinyl to the box and to you know the little project I'm working on and then I'm just going to pull off that transfer tape at a 45 degree angle rocking it back and forth nice and slow just to make sure that I don't pull off parts of the vinyl as I'm pulling off the transfer tape. So after I had transferred the image to the box, I noticed that there were a couple of holes on there from a previous piece of metal. So I'm just taking this Dollar Tree spackling and filling in those holes. I didn't have to ha add any paint over it. I just you know filled in the holes with that spackling. And then next I'm taking these silver thumbtacks. I thought these would be just such a great addition to this piece and just really bring it to the next level. So I'm just starting by taking my wire cutters and cutting off the little spikes that are on the thumbtacks because if I don't then they're going to go through the box and you'll be able to fill them on the other side and I just thought it would be much easier and safer to just cut them down. So once I had them cut down I'm just adding one at each of the four corners on the box using my hammer to get everything into place and that was it for this project so quick easy so simple but seriously super super cute i honestly love it so much i really like you know the added characteristic that those thumbtacks added to this project and i can't wait to show it off in my bathroom all right on to the second and third projects i'm going to be doing these simultaneously because they're ultimately almost the same thing they're fairly fairly similar the only thing that differs is the wording that i chose on each of the little images that i printed out so uh, both of these signs are from dollar tree as well and i'm just going to start by you know taking a flathead screwdriver and removing the little cat images from there and then i'm also going to be removing the wood pieces that made those images look 3d but then I'm also taking off the back away from that frame. This one ended up breaking, which I did not mean for that to do, but that's okay, that is a 
quick and easy fix. And then I'm just going to do the same thing to the second frame. Like I said, I'm going to be doing these back to back simultaneously. So once both of those frames are off of the back, I'm going to just be taking a sandpaper and just sanding down the rough edges and then sanding down that part in the middle where I removed the piece of wood and those cat images. Then I'm going to be taking some Mod Podge and a foam brush and this piece of scrapbook paper, <laughs> scrapbook paper that I got from Michaels. I thought it was really cute. I thought it would work really well with the images that I chose and the frame. I like the wood, like the shiplap looking type of feel it has. So I'm just adding a really good coat of Mod Podge to the backgrounds of those, the backing, and then I'm just applying that scrapbook paper on top of there using my Cricut scraper tool to smooth out all the ripples and any bubbles on there. And once I've given it enough time to dry, I'm just going to be taking my self healing mat in a razor blade and just cutting around those boards and just cutting off the excess pieces of of scrapbook paper. This is how those pieces end up looking. Super, super cute. Like I said, I love that faux wood look. So next, I'm just going to be taking some hot glue and I'm gluing those backings back into the frames. They have like a little ridge so the glue just fits you know, super nice on there and then it just goes back into place perfectly. And then this one, I'm just fixing that little part that came away, that came off of the frame. Super easy fix, like I said, it just glued back right into place. And then my last step for these projects was to just take the vinyl, the images that I printed off, and we're just going to be adding those right into the middle of each of these boxes. And I'm just going through all the same steps and motions that I did for the first project, just using my Cricut scraper tool, you know, to adhere the image to the transfer tape, then I'm pulling off the transfer tape, transferring those images to each of the pieces, and then I'm going to be using my scraper tool to scrape the image on to the project itself, and then I'm just pulling back the transfer tape, and that was all there was to these projects. They are finished, and look how cute you guys! I am in love. These are probably some of my favorite projects that I've actually um, completed recently. I think they are so adorable. I really love the like black wood frame around there and then you have the faux wood background, you know, and then that little wreath around the saying, super, super cute. Don't forget to flush and put the seat down. All right, guys. Well, that is all I have for you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you, you know, got some good ideas of bathroom decor that you could make for your bathroom or maybe even if you were on the fence about purchasing a Cricut machine, maybe this video just help you, helped you in the right direction. <laughs> I personally love these machines. I've been using them for years and I'm telling you once you get the hang of them, there's just so many possibilities. The possibilities are endless of what you can create for your home, you know, maybe even to have a small business on the side. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with the Cricut machines. Again, shout out to Cricut for sponsoring this video and also thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.